All right, guys. So on to step two of the calibration of the Mirage Pulse Induction Metal Detector. And um, this involves setting the core transmit frequency. Uh, this detector is capable of three different ranges of frequencies. Uh, you've got uh, 770 to hertz to 1.68 kilohertz. The next one is 720 hertz to 1.47 kilohertz. And the next range is 660 hertz to 1.22 kilohertz. And those ranges are associated with three different resistor values, 68K, 82K, and 100K respectively. So what we have for the calibration here is we've got this 10 turn 10k uh, potentiometer I've got it set to 50% we've got this uh, jumpered out here and uh, the jumper is taking taking the place of the uh, single pole triple throw switch so we're we're bridging pins three and four four being the common pin and we're utilizing the 68k resistor okay uh i'm on test point five you can see here here on the oscilloscope we're at uh, 250 microseconds. Shift that to one microsecond. Uh, we're at uh, five volts. And if you can see the kilohertz, we're 1.54 kilohertz, one point, yeah. I'll see 1.539, 1.54 kilohertz. Um, I've already turned the little trimmer. It's this one right here. It wasn't off by too much. Uh, so I, I've tuned it as close as I can get. These, these single turn trimmers are notoriously kind of touchy, as you guys know. Um, but what I will do is take this off and go back to my multimeter and sh shift over here to the old trusty x tech and 1.538 hertz so not too much disparity between the the, the siglent oscilloscope and the x tech so, pretty pleased with that, and we, we move on in the calibration. That's it for step two.